In this tutorial, you'll learn three ways to adjust the volume in Audacity. The quickest way to adjust the level of an entire clip is to use the gain slider. Here's what it sounds like before we adjust. I'm going to raise the gain, and here's what it sounds like now. As you can hear, the volume goes up, but the image does not change. Everything looks the same. Using the gain slider is particularly useful when you're trying to set the relative volume of two tracks that are recorded at different levels. The second option for adjusting the volume is to use an amplify effect. This will actually change the appearance of the track. Physicists call the height of a wave its amplitude. In the case of sound, amplitude means volume level, and amplify means to increase the volume. To use the Amplify effect, first make sure that you have the Selection tool chosen. Now choose an entire track or drag over a selection. On the Effects menu, choose Amplify. Audacity sets the amplification level automatically to the highest it can go without clipping, that is, distorting the sound. You can change the level by moving the slider to the left or to the right, if you go to a level where there would be clipping, the OK button turns off. When you have the level you like, click OK. Your audio, as you can see, is visibly larger. It would be smaller if you had reduced the volume. A third way to adjust the volume is with an envelope. First, select the Envelope tool. You'll notice that we have these blue lines at the top and bottom of each of the waveforms. Now we'll create control points where changes can happen. If we click on the blue line, we'll create a point that appears as a little white dot. To see how the envelope works, we need to create several of these control points. If I click the first control point and drag it down, I can create a fade in. If I drag this control point down, I create a little different effect. The volume lowers to the left and then it raises back up again to the right. A great advantage of the envelope is that the adjustments are saved with your project and you can change them later on. Each of these methods might be useful to you depending on the situation.